Well, one rabbi is claiming that Trump will remain in power despite everything that you see going on you right now. The deception, all of the lies, the fact that the media is involved in all of this. Do not let it fool you. We're going to get into what he said before I go any further, guys. If you enjoy the daily content I provide for you here on YouTube, I encourage you guys who can help support the ministry over on to Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description also gets you access to over 25 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that goes out on to Patreon. Unlike YouTube, you guys will not be notified of all the videos that I put out, even if you have that bell selected because YouTube doesn't like me but I know you guys do like me. So when you're done watching me here, browse back and check what you've missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So Rabbi Weisberg has come out now and he is claiming, relax, everybody, it's going to be okay. Trump is going to remain in power to continue to do the work of the Lord, to continue to fight for God's kingdom. Do not let these Democrats just lull you into a, you know, until this, this lie, this illusion that that's it. It's over. It's all she wrote. It's all she wrote. It's why bother anymore? Don't continue to fight. Just let it be. Let it come back in four years and you just try it all over again. I love what Robert, what uh, Rabbi Weisberg said here, because he said, how many times in history have we seen it to where it looked like there was just no hope left? It looked like things had no chance to turn around, but God, but then God showed up, but then God changed the situation. God, all of a sudden he, he undid the, the unrighteousness, the evil that was behind whatever it was that was keeping his people down at the time. We can go all the way back to ancient Israel to talk about this as well. All throughout the course of history, we have seen God do this time and time again. For those people that were on, you know, the ark with Noah, you know, God warned the flood was coming. The flood was coming. Nobody wanted to listen though. But when the floods did come, what happened? Oh, everybody all of a sudden wanted to get on board that boat, right? They wanted to get on board that ark. Don't you think that when they were on that ark, they thought to themselves that there is just no way that we're ever going to see land again. We're going to be on this thing forever. You know, the Lord said, though, it would be, you know, 40 days and 40 nights. But don't you think that at some point during that time that the people on the ark didn't say to themselves, you know what? I I don't know. My faith is slipping a little bit. I don't know if it's going to happen. Even, Even Noah himself, his family, everybody. But then what happened? Oh, the rain stopped, right? All of a sudden, there was land again. Floods were over. The storm was over. God showed up and he may do with what he said, his promise. The same thing here with President Trump. That's what this rabbi is trying to say to everybody here. He said Biden, he's first of all, nobody really voted for Biden other than himself and his wife. I'm talking about Joe Biden and his wife, Jill, voted for, the, for Biden. Everybody else who did go out and vote legally, mind you, went out and did it because they're casting a vote against President Trump. They're not voting for Joe Biden. Rabbi said, how could anybody, how could Joe Biden claim that he's going to lead, that he's going to heal, that he's going to bring people together, that he cares about the faith of others? Well, does he care about the faith of the little ones in the womb? No, he doesn't care about that. Does he care really about upholding religious liberty? He doesn't care about that. Not at all. He said Joe Biden is a fictitious president-elect. And that what he believes is happening right now, this is just a bump in the road. This is a bump in the road on the way to Trump's victory. And and so so many people have asked this question, why, why, why is this happening? Why has God allowed it to happen? Rabbi claiming that one of the reasons could be that God is allowing these Democrats to build up this false sense of security, let their egos get built all up, thinking that they got the victory. But then when they least expect it, what's going to happen? The truth is going to come out. They're going to be exposed. They're going to be, they're going to feel ashamed. They're going to feel guilty for what they've done. They may never again, think about this. They may never again have the confidence or trust 
from the American people again. And I'm talking about people who are even Democrats, those who even voted for Joe, or for those who cast their vote you know, against Trump, but they're putting it in, in the name of Joe. They may never trust the Democrat Party again after this. Sometimes God will allow these sort of things to happen to just dig out a little bit more than what you think he would try to do. Would it be easy to have stopped it from the beginning? Absolutely. And look, I'll be the first to tell you guys this. When I saw what was happening, I thought the same thing. My faith was shaken too. I'm normal. I'm human, just like all of you are. I said to myself, oh my gosh, it really is over. What about all the prophecies? Trump was going to get a second term. They must have all been wrong. It had to have been wrong. We missed it somewhere. What is he doing here in this whole thing? His ways are higher. His ways are higher than anything else that you and I can think or hope for. He sees the end of this thing. We don't even see. We can barely see what's in front of us. He sees the end goal, though. It will come out, according to this rabbi. The truth will be exposed. Trump will be declared the winner. You notice how he announced today, by the way, Trump, that he's going to go out and do rallies again, kind of like the campaign style rallies to get the base of everybody fired up. That Hey, you know what? We got our illegal challenges going on. We're going full throttle with this thing, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to keep on going. I think that's a great idea. I saw that today and I, I just smiled. I'm like, that's Trump. That's what he does. That's what he, that's what he's going to do. I think personally, I think he should go into all of the states where all of this is being investigated right now, where all the legal troubles are. I think he needs to go to all of those states, Pennsylvania. He should go to Arizona. He should go to Nevada. He should go to Michigan. He should go to Georgia. Go to all of them and rally people up there. We deserve to know the truth. And it will come out and it will be exposed. God will have the victory. Remember, God gave Trump an assignment and it's not over yet. It's not over. He's got four more years in that White House. And what happens after that? Well, that remains to be seen. But again, God even knows what's after that. We don't. We have to trust him, though, and know that his will and his plan is perfect. I hope that encouraged you guys today. If you want to check out the full message of what the rabbi had to say, I will put a link to it down below in the description. You can check it out there. As always, your thoughts, your comments, everything welcome down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.